Okay, I collect a lot of MonsterVerse merch. It's a big part of my life, and one of my favorite collectibles is Bandai Vinyl figures. I get most of them off of Amazon, but when searching for some, type Bandai Movie Monster Series, because if you just search Godzilla or Kong figures, then a lot of this will pop up. Welcome to the world of Amazon Kaiju bootlegs and knockoffs. These figures are hilarious. Most of them use names like King of the Monsters Dinosaur or New Chira Dragon or something like that. But there's one company that's really odd, a company that doesn't care about lawsuits at all. TW Care, the weirdest knockoffs anywhere. I don't know what's going on with this company, and I don't know how they're still in business. They are not afraid of using heavily copyrighted names like King Kong, Godzilla, King Ghidorah. It's ridiculous. Also, they use a lot of molds from other companies. Wait, a Bandai King Ghidorah? That's the NECA Burning Godzilla. A Playmate Skullcrawler? What's going on? The funny thing is, this company is ripping everyone off. People are giving these things good reviews. We might be saying, Bob, Bob, why is the figure actually good? Well, there's only one way to find out. This is the TW Care Space Godzilla. And wow, this thing sucks. The paint is not only very lazily put on, but there's not enough of it. Also, they probably use paint from the dollar store. The joints are really squeaky. And the plastic, while not as bad as McDonald's plastic, it's still nowhere near Bandai vinyl figures. Aha, TW Carry will never be as good as Bandai. And these things are even much cheaper than Bandai. And in some cases, Bandai is even cheaper. The average Bandai figure costs about $15 to $30, and TW Care goes about the $15 to $25 range. So why would you buy their terrible figures when you could buy a 10 out of 10 officially licensed figure for the same price? TW Care is crazy. I do not recommend buying any of them, no matter what the reviews say. Just buy a real figure and save the regret when you realize you made terrible financial decisions. Also, TW Care isn't the only company out there with ridiculous bootlegs. Just be very careful while shopping for figures. Anyways, let's take a closer look at my TW Care figure. First off, it's missing paint where it really should be. Like right here on his crystals where the skin should be coming up on his crystals. It's just molded there and it really triggers me whenever I look at it. Here, I'll just paint it myself. And when you look at Space Godzilla in the movie, he has more white dorsal plates than the mustard yellow that they put on the figure. And don't even get me started on the mouth. The tongue looks as red as the apple from Snow White. The teeth are painted terrible. The top jaw doesn't have molded teeth, so they just painted on his teeth. But the bottom jaw does have molded teeth, but they didn't even paint them. They literally painted ever except the molded teeth. There's paint spill everywhere, the hinges squeak, and the dorsal plates look terrible. So long story short, don't buy these figures. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and joining the Discord link in the description. Hope to see you later. Also, really quickly, I am going live tonight uh, to showcase a brand new figure that I've wanted since like the dawn of time. And just have some fun, chit chat, ask questions. So, if you can please consider joining that live stream later on. See you later.